Sarah, Cynthia, Sylvia, Stout would not take the garbage out. She'd scour the pots and scrape the pans, candy the yams and spice the hams. And though her daddy would scream and shout, she simply would not take the garbage out. And so it piled up to the ceilings, coffee grounds, potato peelings, brown bananas, rotten peas, chunks of shower, cottage cheese. It filled the can, it covered the floor, it cracked the window and blocked the door. With bacon rinds and chicken bones, Trippy ends of ice cream cones. Broom bits, beach bits, orange peel. Glubby lumps of cold oatmeal. Pizza crusts and withered greens. Soggy beans and tangerines. Crusts of black burned butter toast. Grizzly bits of beefy roasts. The garbage rolled on down the hall. It raised the roof. It broke the wall. Greasy napkins, cookie crumbs, globs of gooey bubble gum, cellophane from green baloney, rubbery blubbery macaroni. Caked and dry, curdled milk and crusts of pie, moldy melons, dried up mustard, eggshells mixed with lemon custard, <coughs> cold French fries and mm, rancid meat, yellow lumps of cream of wheat. At last the garbage reached so high that it finally touched the sky. And all the neighbors moved away, and none of her friends would come to play. And finally Sarah Cynthia Stout said, Okay, I'll take the garbage out. But then of course, it was too late. The garbage reached across the state, from New York to the Golden <coughs> Gate, and there, in the garbage she did hate, poor Sarah met an awful fate that I cannot now relate, because the hour is much, much, much too late. But children, remember Sarah Stout. And always take the garbage out. I of newt and toe of frog, wool of bat and tongue of dog, adder's fork and blind worm sting, lizard's leg and owlet's wing, for a charm of powerful trouble, like the hell broth boil and bubble.